uh, shape-shifting detective let's play. Let's continue, shall we? August's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. Aliens would be normal right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Tell her to leave town. I'll protect her at her house. Monroe's a local treasure around here, Sam. Don't let anything happen to her. Hi again. I'm staying with you. Sam, I'm not sure. Do you think you can stop someone from trying to kill me? I'll give it my best. <sighs> That's all I needed to hear. Thanks for staying with me, Sam. I know it's dangerous. I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. It's almost 10 o'clock, Sam. When's it going to be over? You said Brahman will call when it's safe. Should, should we call them now, or are we just supposed to wait? You're going to be okay. I know you're just being good, but <laughs> that's kind of easy for you to say right now. I think I'm probably going to have a heart attack before anyone gets a chance to kill me. <sighs> Breathe. You'll be fine. Just wait. That's the door. That's the door, Sam. What what are, what are we going to do? You're safe. Stay behind me. Oh, yeah, just stand behind me, because if you go and hide, then the killer might break through a window and grab you from behind. I've seen a load of horror movies. I know my shit. I know what I'm saying. So stick together is what I am um, saying. Stick together. Jesus. Thank God. I've been outside all the time, okay? Bromwyn Castle just called. She said the danger is over. They've done a new reading. There's another victim now. Look, Danny's outside. He's going to take you somewhere safe, okay? Sam, I think you should find out who the next victim's going to be. Then come and see me in my office. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Poe, and this is your August update. Police investigating the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw say they are getting closer to apprehending the killer. The death of Miss Shaw, who was found strangled at her home late last night, has sparked a massive police operation and caused alarm amongst August residents. Monroe has some personal business to attend to, but she sends you all her love and hopes to be back on the air tomorrow. And Monroe, if you can hear me, I'm sending my love out to you too. That's 11 o'clock with Poe. Sam, I have some bad news. We've done a group reading, and it's you. I'm the next target. I'm the killer. Well, considering the chief said that there's a new victim, I'm gonna guess I'm the next target. I don't know, Sam. I, I don't know what to say. It's normally a death sentence, but with you, it might be different. Why me? I think you've interfered too much. That's why you're the next target. I've called Chief Dupont already. He's asked that you meet with him. You should go, Sam. Be careful. Hey, no touching! I'm not supposed to touch people. Sam, it's almost midnight. You're still alive. This is a good thing, but no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence, enough to arrest someone. But who? Make the right decision, and you should be safe. If we don't, well, we've all got to sleep at some point. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house, but it might not be enough. 
So, Sam, who should I arrest? I have a feeling that I should have done a lot more investigating. Because at the end of each chapter, there's an option to keep investigating, and I just keep on clicking on next chapter. But now, thinking about it, I feel like I should have done more investigating, because who knows, I could have, I could have gotten a lot more hints if I did so. Oh well, a bit late now, isn't it? So, who should I choose? I could have asked Chief for a hint, but I don't know if I should have. I don't think it's me, because <laughs> again, that would be a bit like, oh, okay, what? But according to the beginning of the game, we have a uh, bit of a past involving a murder of some kind, I think it was. So, yeah, but again, I doubt it'll be Sam. I'm going to go with Rain. The fact that there was a... I don't know. I don't know. Should... You know, yeah, let's go with Rain. Because he is the only one with a criminal record. And... He's a... But then again, he's one of the tarot readers. But... He wasn't with... No, he wasn't... Yeah, he wasn't with Bron Bronwyn or Le Lexi. So he could... Yeah, let's go... Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling it's Rain. Rain? Agreed. He's got no corroborated alibis for any key times, and he's one of those tarot muppets who I suspected all along. I was right when I said Bronwyn. I knew it was one of them. I just didn't know which one. I'll pick him up. Just be careful tonight, Sam. If you've not done your job properly, the killer's still out there. I don't think I did my job properly. I don't think I did. Should have done more investigating. Should have got more evidence, but oh well. It's done now. Oh, uh, uh, hi. You asked for these earlier. Did I? Make sure you get some sleep now. You'll need it. Night. Wait a minute. Did I choose wrong? Did I choose wrong? Violet. What are you doing? Violet? It's one o'clock in the morning and this is Poe with your August update. We don't normally have them at this time, but since there's a killer on the loose, I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station manned. I personally spoke with Chief DuPont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Remain vigilant. The light has faded, and so has my fortitude. I see things in shadows, behind doors and under desks. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to feed on me. The studio undulates like a heart that beats its last beats. I can't go on. I must to bed. Forgive me, Lady August. Forgive me. Well, okay then. Next chapter, I guess. Sam! Oh! It's you. All tied up in my photography studio. Sounds like we're going to have a great session. Zach? I must fuck? say, you're a bit of an idiot for not getting Chief DuPont to arrest me, but fortunately, choices matter. Now I have you in my studio. And no, before you ask, Violet doesn't know. She's far too sweet for all this killing. I know you I know you was a creep, Zach, but the killer? Damn, I should have chosen him instead of Rain. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, why did you want to kill those women? Oh, Sammy, you want the whole foot-long explanation. There's no time for that. Those women 
for sluts. Dorota with her naked legs wrapped around the cello. We all know what that shorthand for. Preening and makeup, practically begging me to have sex with them. And then when the offer comes, their legs close together like oysters. They're all whores, Sam. We're just haggling over the price. So you wanted to kill them because they shunned you? What? Not just that. That's the reason the police would go after. No. Those pictures I took of them. I saw things in them you shouldn't see. Flashes of death and gluttony. Hideously grotesque things. Those photos told me to kill them. I mean, I wouldn't kill any old whores. I'm not Jack the Ripper. I'm going to kill you, though. things truthfully but only I could see them. Violet? You were Sam all along. No, wait. I'm Violet. You're not Violet. You're an alien, aren't you? No, no, no. So you let him get away. I'm disappointed, Sam. Damn First it. choose to lock up the wrong suspect, then you let the real killer disappear. God damn it. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I'm glad you're okay and no one else is dead. Let's chalk this one up to experience, shall we? I'll catch you in the morning and get some sleep. Damn it! I fucked it! I fucked up! Damn it! Hello, sleepyhead. I'm so glad to see you alive. What about the next victim? There is no next victim. Zach's still missing, but Chief Dupont will find him. At least that's what I'll tell myself to sleep at night. I'm sorry. I truly am. I fucked up. It's not your fault. What could you have done differently? Hmm? Changed names to Zach? Bye, Sam. I'll catch you on the flip side. Sam, I'm so glad you're here. When I heard, I got so scared. Sam, I'm just going to say it because you only live once and all that. Sam, I think I've fallen for you. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. It's out there now. We can get all of our lives. Did I miss something? When did this happen? Uh... That's a nice thing to say. I see. Nice thing. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Heart wants what it wants. Perhaps you should go for a while so I can have a little cry. I'll be okay though. I'm sorry, Alexi. I'm sorry. Sam, you're alive. <laughs> That's great. I'm sorry, mate. Um, thanks for thinking I was the killer, by the way. You and me. We're gonna have some trust issues for a while. I said I'm sorry. No, don't worry. I'll forgive you. Eventually. <laughs> Look, um, I don't know if Bron asked in the end, but I hope you're coming with us. I really do. Sam, I guess you're on your way now. I suppose I knew there was a reason deep down that Zack didn't like me didn't want to kill me. Well, hopefully he didn't, as who knows where he is right now. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone in this game. Sorry to Rain for thinking it was him. Sorry for letting Zack get away. I'm just sorry. But Sam, it's still good to see you here. Mainly because Chief DuPont hasn't settled your bill yet, so I'd appreciate you not leaving until that happens. And obviously, I'm happy you're still alive. You should keep that up too. I'll see you, Sam. You take care. I didn't think you'd leave without saying goodbye. People do horrible things to people every day. I'm just glad there's someone like you around to save us. I mean, everyone needs a little saving from time to time. Even me. You're strong, you'll be fine. That's easy for you to say. Look what you've just been through. I'd have been dead a few hours ago if it wasn't for you. But you're right. I am strong. I will be fine. But. I like having you around, Sam. I hope you're staying. Sam, you win some, you lose some. You're still alive. So we'll call this a no-score draw. Zack won't get away. We're looking everywhere for him. We'll find him. And justice will be done. Sam, I don't know what you do or how you do it, but you get answers that most people can't. Can't have you work at the station for obvious reasons, but, um... I do want to work with you. Sam, these are for you. It's a little office just next door to the laundrette in August. August, you're home now. We want you here. Thanks, Chief. And I've stuck to my word. That problem you had, I buried it. The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that, but over the last 24 hours, I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dry as I'd like them to be. You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. Well, that was interesting. I am Dorota. I am 21 years old. Um, I love playing cello and i just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. <laughs> I just love cello. I love all string instruments, but cello is rich and deep and uh, soothing, at least to me. And no, cello is my hobby, but my real passion is... <laughs> it's silly, it sounds silly. Well, I would like to build a time machine. <laughs> I know, I know, but it is possible. I think people make mistakes, they do things they regret and they say things they don't mean. I want to go back in time, I want to make better choices. You know why you're here, don't you? Not particularly, no. Because you did well. Did I? And you know what happens when you do well? Did I do well though? Zack got away. Augmentation. Congratulations, Agent 3.13. Welcome to... 3.14. Well, okay then. The end, maybe. Enter secret debriefing. Hell yes. Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. And we're ready. Are you human? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I'm a shapeshifter, so... Does that mean I can shapeshift into anything, including animals? I'm gonna go with... No to his, uh, to his question. Do you have feelings? I'm gonna go with... Yes, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Yes. Splendid. Do plants have feelings? Maybe. I don't know. 
Yes? It hasn't worked. It's stuck in compliance mode. Oh, shit! <laughs> Can we get someone in here, please? No! I'm sorry! Well, that has been my let's play of the shape-shifting detective. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.